Hello, this is Corey from Webtegrity, and I wanted to walk you through what it looks like to add, to add an image to either your footer area or your sidebar area. So, of course, you're going to need access to your dashboard, and depending upon where you want that image to go, that's where we'll drop it in. The very first step, though, is having the image available to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my media library. I've already saved the image to my desktop. What I want to do is I want to add uh, a Facebook icon. So I'm just going to drag and drop the Facebook icon, or you can select the file and upload the icon, uh, or any image for that matter, to your media library. I'm going to click on Edit, and right over here I'm going to come Copy the file URL. This is where that image is now sitting on your website. So I'm going to copy that file URL to my clipboard. Okay, so you can right mouse click and say copy. And then you're going to come back over here to appearance and go to widgets. And again, depending upon whatever area you want that uh, image to be in, I, I actually want to put it in my footer area. So I'm going to open up this footer widget box. I'm going to scroll down and find a text box. This is basically all this is, is just an open HTML or what we call here at Webtegrity a nerd code box. You can drop in nerd code. So don't be too freaked out about what I'm about to type. I actually give you the, this exact script down below, uh, below this video over on YouTube. So check this out though. We're going to type in, this is how to link this image. Basically if I want this image pointed anywhere when somebody clicks on it, where should it go? This is that little bit of code that um, tells it where to go. And then this opens up image, search, get that image that I just pasted in that um, file URL that we copied from the image. I'm going to close that off there. I'm going to put in an alt tag for Facebook icon. And then I'm going to close the link off, okay? So I'm going to click Save. Right now, though, I haven't linked this image anywhere. I need to be able to go get the, the uh, link I want it to point to. But if we go to the front side of our website and click Refresh, scroll down to the bottom, now you see right here that I've just inserted that Facebook icon. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. But now I want it linked. So what I can do is I can go over to Facebook, and I can get Webtegrity right here, copy that onto my clipboard, come back over here to my file path, drop that in, click save, and now when I click refresh, this little icon is now linked correctly over to my Facebook. Maybe I want it to open up into a separate page and not leave my website, but I want it to open up in a separate window. We're going to add this little bit of extra code, and again, don't worry if I'm going too quickly. All you're going to do is go down below this video and uh, copy and paste this code into an open text widget box. Uh, and then what you'll replace is this is the link area right here. This is a hyper reference equals then open quotes. So in between these two quote marks, that's the link you want it to go to. And this is the image tag here and this is the path that we copied whenever we uploaded that image. So you'll want to replace those two things and if you want to you can add an alt tag which is good for SEO and you can add a, a title tag for that link. Click Save and now perfectly if we come over here and click Refresh if I click on that Facebook icon now it's going to open up another page. Oh, Let's go back. Let's make sure that that's going to work correctly. Click Refresh there it opened up into another tab. So fantastic. Hope this video helps you guys. If you have any questions, connect with us over on webtegrity.com or you can also check out our different YouTube channels here.